So hello everyone, welcome to another video and today I'll be discussing the different types of string manipulation. So we encounter strings when we ask a user for his names, uh, ask for a user for the different information. So today we'll be discussing the different operations that we could perform in a string function or in a string variable. So first is we'll be declaring a string. So we could name it as str string as so there's a data type called string so we could set this as a, for example so practically strings we can be easily uh, discovered can be easily identified in the two code statement or two code symbol so we could have here uh, fork okay so the next one is we also declare another string as string chop. So just want to say sorry for those who are not eating pork, but I love pork chop. <laughs> so anyway, so the next one here is we want to combine these two strings together. So we could uh, add it here and console the write line. Okay. So, for example, we want to combine this two, sing these two strings. We can easily do this by adding str string, then ampersand. So, this will combine these two strings together. And let's add the string. Oh, no, no. str string 1. So, we should expect that there will be an output port chop. Okay. So while waiting, okay, see, you can see here that those two strings are combined together and this is what we call concatenation. So we could also add space between these two since we don't want to see a word with no space. So we could add another ampersand and we could add a space here. So adding two quotes. So let's just enter a, okay, so let's just enter a space. So we are expecting that uh, the port and the chop will have a distance between them. Kasi diba distansya lang. So yun. So we can see here port chop. So that is what, how we use concatenation in string. So okay, let me just comment it here. So next is how we will be identifying the length of strings. And most of the time, when we are checking for the passwords, when we are checking on the input or the maximum characters for a certain program. So we use character length. So to, so to be able to identify the length of an array, we could use the len function. So first is we will be declaring another string, str length, str length as string okay uh, it's not a good variable let's say str character okay so basically string is a combination of characters so we could say here is i am alive yes okay so to be able to know the number of characters of a certain string or in a variable or the string stored in a variable so we could easily output it by using the len function so okay len and then okay sorry about this so len and then we'll be adding the str character so this uh, procedure this function will automatically uh, output or return the number of length of the certain string okay so what's happening str okay so we have a mistake here character okay so we should expect uh, a certain number to the certain character length of the variable okay so you can see here that there is 10 however there are there are only one two three four five six seven eight so there is only eight characters so basically within a string since it's a combination of characters 
uh, space is also a character. That's why the length of the string is 10. So that is how we use the len function in Visual Basic. So now proceeding to the next one. So let me just comment it here again. So we'll be using another string manipulation function in Visual Basic. So let me just reuse this, uh, this declaration. So there are, there, there are different types of Microsoft Visual Basic left, right structure, but I'll be showing uh, the basic uh, string manipulation on the left and on the right. So I am alive, I am free. Okay, so we could use this uh, string as a reference. So what will happen if we use the Microsoft Visual Studio Basic left? So let me just output it here. Okay, so Microsoft. So this is a stored function within the Visual Basic uh, programming language. Language. So Visual Basic. Then wait. Uh, what's happening? Okay, that left. Then will be. So there are two parameters for Visual Basic left. So we will first add this str character, and then the number we have to indicate here the integer where we want or the characters we want from the left side so we can set it as two for the time being so we should expect to have in auto so two here so left side so one and two so we are expecting a character i okay so you can see here that the the function returned an i so what if we increase the number from the left so let's say it five okay so we should expect that i am yeah the word i am you can see here so this is how we use this function or the string manipulation of microsoft visual basic left left so what if we use the right statement so okay you can see here so to compare the results of the two we will just be leaving it uncommented. So, okay. So, we could see here that we are expecting a word free. Okay. So, I am and then free. So, that's basically how we use the visual basic left and right. So, for example, we are asked to get the number or to get the character on the left side of the string. So, you can easily do it using visual basic. So, okay. So, let me just comment it here so for the last trim manipulation technique that i'll be teaching is the trim function so you maybe you're asking what is a trim function so first is i'll be showing to you a simple string with a living space so let me just redeclare this variable for example we added a, a trailing space or a, or a space on the start of the string so let me just output this Okay, so str character. So we should expect, of course, the string has a space the moment that we have already output it. So okay, so you can see here that there is a space there since we already set it there. So what if we want to remove the spaces on the start and on the end of the string? So that is where the str trim is being used. So you can see here. So let it let me just output it here. Okay, so you can see here that it removed the trailing space or the space in the front of the code. So that is where the trim function is being used. You could also use the trim start so that you will just if you want if you don't want to remove the spaces on the end of the string you can use the trim start okay so we should we should see a similar output okay so that's basically how we use the trim function so the next one is or the last one is the replace function for example we have a number or a huge number of string and we want to replace all of that word in a single code so you could see here that we could redeclare this again okay 
let me remove this. So what if we want to replace alive by another word without using loops? So we can easily do this by uh, declaring or even using the function replace. Okay, let me just set another function here. So str character is equal to replace. So we have a replace stored word. So first is the expression or the string that we will be replacing. So let me just set it here as the str character. And the word, and here is the find a string. So this is the word that we want to replace. So for example, we want to replace the word free. And what do you think that we could change is maybe uh, not free. <laughs> it's easier that way. So not free. Okay. So we could expect a I am alive not I am not free. Okay, so we could output this by using the statement str character. Okay, so let me just output it here. So you can see here I am alive, I am not free. So basically the this code first replaces or finds the free word here. And if he founds it or if the code finds it, it will replace it by another word on the third parameter. So that's basically one of the basics of string manipulation techniques. So see you guys on the next video.